So it's been a while since I've chimed in on this channel. I hope everyone has been doing a good job putting together highly diverse nutrition from the right sources, from passionate cultivators who have the most advanced, most rich production of nutrition available, which is through permaculture. <clears throat> and I hope that you got water purifiers for your water that you're bringing into your family. And I also hope that you young men out there have paid attention to the information all over the world right now about how men's general testosterone is being affected. There's something in agriculture, there's something in water supply, there's something going on in cooking habits that's not used the poor oils whatsoever anymore. It's grass-fed butter, Buffalo butter, goat butter, all right, pure butters, animal fats, and olive oil, pure olive oil. The expensive stuff in the glass bottle, pure coconut oil. Turns completely white when you put it in the fridge and solid, right? <clears throat> no little yellow bubbles in their form. Um, these are okay for cooking. And then you want, I'm gonna put links below if you haven't gotten your water purifier yet, or you haven't gotten something to supplement the natural production of more testosterone, there are known herbs and known natural ingredients in a supplement. I'll put the link below to where you can get your testosterone back up completely naturally. I've never taken a steroid. I do not recommend steroids. In fact, I know that they will shut that endocrine system, your natural endocrine production, your hormonal production down, and you could get to really murky waters and imbalances within the system. So we want whole foods, we want great balance, we want lots of hydration, good food sourcing, good water sourcing or treatment at the home service level. And just think about it logically, there should be a service side treatment, the pipes going through all kinds of stuff. There could be all, whatever type of contaminant that comes in after it's initially treated. And in addition to that, and I'll put a link to the video below that really explains it in detail, <clears throat> our own United States Environmental Protection Agency found 52 known pharmaceuticals in all the water supplies across the U.S. A lot of these have been known to create a docile, uh, uh, you know, help people with high blood pressure be more calm. So uh, if you don't have high blood pressure, what is that making you a little bit, you know, I am highly worried about young people and the water that they consume now in the United States, you know, and I definitely want to say that very clearly. There are young people that I care about that I wish would listen to me about that because um, depending on the structure of the water, depending on the composition of the water and a gravity fed carbon, activated carbon water filter is excellent. It works excellently and there's plenty of them but, you know, I'll put, make it real easy for you in the description below. And um, so to just let you know, this last year, I've been reforming the diet, refining the diet. I've been driven into the supplement industry more and more and more, trying to make it so that people can actually get things, you know. I, and now, so the new recommendation is basically a list of orderable substances and find a few, start finding permacultures near, near you and start putting that stuff into your, you know, whatever they have into the equation. Start, you know, there's a lot of fasting. We've been doing a lot of fasting this last year. Fasting can really enhance field testing about finding out what foods are edible. Remember that ed everything is edible. Homeopathic medicine is actually taking something as a known toxin to build your system up. Doing this could be a very valuable practice, especially moving forward in the new age of designer viruses and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> but you know, staying on your A game, exercise every day. Um, I keep the toxins out, that includes people. 
right? I say to myself, isolation, there's a lot to be done there. And then focus groups where the people in that focus group are focused on self-development. You know, your role in the world is to help other people and help nature and become strong. That is a very clear message and we just need to pay attention to nature. Another important fun fact gem that I would like to drop here is Bill Mollison's observation of nature and where he found that every species has two or more uses or shouldn't be incorporated. So when you're strategizing your plays and you have two or more, right now I'm doing my mastermind with my group of, of self-development, nutrition, fitness specialists, to continuously sharpen my blade and that. And I'm also doing my meal prep, right? So I'm at the gym and I'm pushing it hard, but I have a rest in there. So during those rest times, I'm either doing my stretching or I may be doing my Instagram posting because now I have a whole nother fitness channel. I can put that in the description as well, where I'm starting to work people with just a concentrated work on fitness and less on nutrition. You know, unfortunately, I, me, I get the nutrition. It's totally part of my high vibe. And, you know, a lot of people will even call me crazy for the amount of effort that I go and the, and the amount of different species and how I'm constantly obsessed with this. But botany, you know, Einstein said, pay attention to no nature and you'll realize everything better. And that's been very true in my journey with nature. And I went so deep in nature, <clears throat> basically, to take my focus off of a black hole, right? So big pain, big gain, big overcoming, keyword overcoming, not becoming, but overcoming. You want to be a constantly changing, constantly evolving, constantly getting more samurai and more independent you know we have a definite definite obvious responsibility to be as independent and carry more weight not not be codependent on anything we should require as least as possible from others and nurture as much as possible nature and others that's really and your work your worth is in your work so if you're constantly producing good work guess what you constantly feel good worth you know there's no Purpose over pleasure. Your biggest pleasures will be knocking things out, big things in line for your biggest destiny, biggest purpose. And when you start knocking that out, that will be your biggest pleasure. There is re really, you know, if they can get you in the gerbil wheel of just placing one p chasing pleasure period to pleasure period to pleasure period, you will chemically dopamine yourself all out and you will become needing of that. If you become a hungry, progressive animal in the gym, in the books, in the study, flow state to flow state, constant application all day long, and then you add in the super diet on top of it, forget about it. You're now unstoppable. I love everyone in the world. And um, I'm, getting, I'm trying to practice at this video stuff and get a little bit better. A lot of people continue to tell me, ah, oh, you need to keep making videos. You need to get your message out, out there, you know? And um, I really want to build that character where it's not about me and where I'm doing as much as I possibly, what I just said, as much, you know, our only natural role could possibly be get strong, help others, help nature. That's it. I mean, there's really no more divine of a, a function. That is our, our, function but if you can get stuck in some of the gerber wheel somewhere and never do that and 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 masterpiece artistically do that over and over and over a thousand times i feel sorry for you i feel sorry for you so you know nutritional diversity yes but diverse adversity resistance of all types and overcoming that and pushing that line back you know, you will never get anywhere in life past your own personal development. These people that are knocking, knocking it out of the park left and right, they are samurais. They are scientists at what they do. And that's why they know going in, they're going to get a result out of it because they've gotten that result before and they know the working formula, you know, and so 
um, you know, my prayer is that you get that working formula and that you get that really godlike intention to where you just ever want to do the best thing, you know, and then you go out there and you make that relationship with nature, all of us. And then eventually we're living in some avatar wonder paradise. We're eating a king's feast all the time. I mean, I'm in Panama. All that I'm coming to you from Panama right now. Um, and <laughs> check it out. And uh, it's just like out in the country. Why is there not a mango and an avocado tree lining every and jackfruit? Right? You get a wood, two things. You get a wood that makes musical instruments and and boat. Right? You know. I, you know, I swing the bat real hard. What are we doing here in this beautiful life? You know, I hope you live a good one. Live a good life, do good, live well. You don't need revenge on anyone. You don't tell the truth in the face of lies and become a hero, all right? But now physical, this is not an age where, you know, you want to be in your best shape so you can pull someone out of the ditch if you need to, so you can run that extra, but you know what I mean? You want to be in your best shape because God wants you to be your best self and you want to make you, you know, you want to do everything you can do in alignment with that purpose, you know, and if you do it with that purpose and you're all set up, you know, preparation is, uh, or excuse me, Success is preparation meets opportunity, all right? You know, this is why I tell everybody, you want to do a couple years in boxing no matter what. You need to get in the ring, too, because walking around in circles in the ring, you're just saying, oh, damn, I missed that opportunity. I missed that opportunity. I missed that Conjuring up that will to take that shot, to take that opportunity when it's presented and to fully commit. Do not pull the punch, you know, so you need to... Get your, put yourself full click, full click in exactly what modality, right, that you want. You know, this nutritional diversity channel should essentially just be a, a self-help channel. You know, it, a lot of people who come here, they're trying to overcome the biggest things. I, I'm one of them, you know, uh, things that, you know, crisis in life that usually take people out. You know, um, I have huge suicide rates associated with them, et cetera, et cetera. But through fitness, through discipline, through pure foods, we can really overcome these things, you know. And I feel the worst for the people who are, you know, ta tangibly, physically poisoned and not able to think clearly or culturally, you know what I mean? That they're, yeah, hey, let's have these drinks. Let's watch this Netflix, right? No, there's a beautiful world out here. We all need to be living our lives to the fullest. I love everyone. And, um... I will try to do more on this channel and start talking some more herbs, some more of the specific herbs that can be used to increase testosterone. But right now, just get the supplement, you know, and get your testosterone up. Testosterone is under attack. <clears throat> but to optimize your health in every way, to optimize your joints, to clean out your organs. If you can keep your organs and your joints young, the rest of you is going to stay young. People don't know little things like that. And it's little tiny changes that are realized over lots of experience that make that jujitsu move work, that make that um, <clears throat> boxing move work, that make, uh, you know, it just, you could do all these things completely right. You could have nine parts of the gun, but guess what? Without that 10th part, it's, it's not shooting. Without that right adjustment, if they're adjusted wrong somewhere in there, you know, so life is serious, your success is serious, but it's very doable when you really laser focus in on that one thing that you know is going to get you there. Just cut off what you want to do, how you feel about this, how you feel, what's that one thing that's ethic, karmically sound and ethically sound and it does not involve deception in any way because you're just going to self-sabotage yourself. You know, the minute you start not allowing um, lies and not saying them and just start dealing with your problems immediately as they come to you, you're going to be taking the reins on life in the right way. Hua, much love to everyone. Talk to you soon.